Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I'm Ms. Fatima Muhammad Iqbal from Palestinian schools in Qatar. Today we are with unit number 8, period number 9. The title of the unit is Good News from the Doctors and we are going to cover listening exercises. As you can say that we have listening exercises so it is highly recommendable to get a piece of paper and a pencil in order to note down the useful information. So, let's begin with activity number one. Hmm. This is the activity number one. Look at the picture and answer the questions. This is the picture. We can see a boy in the wheelchair and a lady on the phone. Read the questions. From what you learned in period 8, say who these people probably are. We have to refer back to period number 8 in order to know about these people. Number 2. From what you remember, say why the boy's father called earlier. Just note down their names and just note down that why the boy's father called them. Let's play the audio. Period, Period 9. nine. Activity, Activity 1. one. Part, Part 1. Hello, Tarek Ibrahimi here. Oh, hello. Could I speak to Mr. Ibrahimi, please? I'm sorry, but Dad's out. Oh, well then, could I speak to your mother, Mrs. Ibrahimi? I'm sorry, but she's out too. They've gone shopping together till this afternoon. Can I take a message? Well, thank you. Perhaps you could do that for me. Let me get a pen and some paper. Here we are. Right, uh, please go ahead. Well, my name is Mrs. D, and I'm the secretary at Green Hill School. Your father called earlier about a place at the school for you, and I promised to call back. I see. Yes, note down the information, note down their names, and why did his father call them? Activity number two, listen to part two. Copy and continue Tariq's message to his dad. Tariq is the one who is receiving the message from Mrs. D, the secretary. Now he is noting down the information here. First of all, he will note down the name. Here he wrote phone message, the time 10.30. He's telling dad that Mrs. Someone she called and she is the secretary at a school. You will note down the school name and what does she say? Listen to part two. Period, Period nine. nine. Activity, Activity two. two. Part two. Uh, uh Mrs. Mrs. D, can, can you spell that please? I'm, I'm not, not very, very sure, sure about English it. names. Well, mine is very simple. It's just D double E. Thanks, Mrs. D. And you're the secretary at Green Hill School. Oh yes. Mum and Dad were talking about Green Hill School. They've heard that it's an excellent school and they want me to go there. And I'm calling about that now. Oh fantastic. Have you got a place for me? Well, I should really talk to your parents about this first, but yes, we may have a place for you. That's really good news. Thanks. But could you please come for an interview with the head of Year 10? Right, so you want me to go for an interview with... The head of Year 10, Mrs. Carr. The head of Year 10, Mrs. Carr. Is it possible for you and your parents to be here for an appointment at 10 o'clock on Thursday morning? Wants to know if we can be there for an appointment at 10 o'clock on Thursday. 
And can your parents see the head teacher, Dr. Bell, at the same time? Wants you and mum to see Dr. Bell, same time. We understand that you're disabled and that you use a wheelchair. That's correct. So Dr. Bell says he needs a discussion with your parents about your disability. He needs to be sure that you'll be able to manage to get round school all right. Says he needs a discussion with you about my disability. All right, I've got that. Now, your father also asked if you could all look round the school. And Dr Bell says that's fine. But his question is this. What parts of the school does he specially want to see? Dr Bell asks what parts of the school you specially want to see. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's all. Perhaps your father could call me back later this afternoon. I'll be here until 5.30. Mrs Bell wants you to... Hmm. So it's a long message. So hopefully you know the down some key points. Who called? Mrs D. And she is the secretary at Greenhouse School. Please tell me later how many messages or how many points have you noted down. Thank you. Let's move to the activity number three. It is your favorite activity in which you have to choose which expression has been said and which expression has not been said. So for this one, you have to listen to part one and only the start of part two. Here we go. Period, Period nine. nine. Activity, Activity one. one. Part, part one. one. Hello, Tarek Ibrahimi here. Oh, hello. Could I speak to Mr. Ibrahimi, please? I'm sorry, but Dad's out. Oh, well then, could I speak to your mother, Mrs. Ibrahimi? I'm sorry, but she's out too. They've gone shopping together till this afternoon. Can I take a message? Well, thank you. Perhaps you could do that for me. Let me get a pen and some paper. Here we are. Right. Uh, please go ahead. Well, my name is Mrs D and I'm the secretary at Green Hill School. Your father called earlier about a place at the school for you, and I promised to call back. I see. Now we will listen to part two. Period nine. Activity two. Part two. Uh, Mrs. D, can you spell that please? I'm not very sure about English names. Well, yes. So, Check your answers. 1A, 2B, 3A, 4A. Let's move to the fourth activity. This one. Fourth activity is practicing your pronunciation, word stress. Whenever we read a word, there is somehow stress. Maybe at the start, or maybe in the middle, or maybe at the end. For example, the word secretary, the stress is at the start, secretary. Fantastic, the stress is in the middle. Third one, afternoon, the stress is in the end. Now here we have a couple of words, we will listen to them and you are supposed to note down the stress part. Where is it? Does it? occur at the start, or in the middle, or in the end. Period 9. Activity 4. 1. Secretary. Fantastic. Afternoon. 2. Disability. Disabled. Excellent. Interview. 
together. Understand. Yes. Excellent. Disable. Disability. Interview. Together. Understand. Let's move to the next slide. Working peers read and act out the conversation. This is the conversation that you have to read and act out. All the best. Thanks for watching. And bye-bye from my side. This is Fatima Muhammad Iqbal. Thank you.